Hey y'all, welcome back to another hands-on exercise. So the last hands-on exercise, we were looking at data actions um, and we needed to create a cloud integration or an integration to where we could actually get, the, you know, authenticate the data action and allow it to work. So there's a, a few steps to this. I decided to create a hands-on exercise real quick to cover two steps. One is creating that integration, but another one is creating the OAuth client uh, to allow that integration to work uh, which then allows the data action to work. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you exactly how this works. Under integrations in the admin panel, you'll see OAuth. You go ahead and click on it. You see that I have already created one, but we're going to go ahead and create another one. Uh, and I'm just going to essentially make it uh, the same name, but it's going to be Genesis Cloud. Now let's do Genesis Cloud Data Auth. And for this test, for example. Um, I always, uh, for this one, you'll do uh, client credentials and go over to roles. And I just give it, let's just give it the master admin role right now, just to make it nice and easy. There may be, you know, however your, your business uh, requirements are, then you might have a, a custom role created for that. But essentially what that gives us is that now gives us the client ID and client secret which you then can copy out of each one. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it over here in a different off, off screen to a different page. Go ahead and copy the secret. And now that we have this go done, so OAuth, you can see now there's the test that's been created. Now we're gonna to go to integrations. Uh, I have created one. Let me go ahead and delete this and we'll recreate the same integration. Um, obviously, this is what I'm using for my data action, so I'm not going to mess with that. But up upper right-hand corner, you go ahead and click on integrations. Uh, just search for Genesis. You'll see a Genesis Cloud data action pop up. Just hit install. Now you'll see it loads the integration into the details. You can leave some notes here on what you want. You can, you can rename this however you want to do it. For configuration, we're going to go down to credentials, and this is where we're going to input our uh, client ID and secret. So let me just go ahead and copy and paste that back over there. So there's the client ID. There's the secret. It is unsaved, but it is there. It's ready to go. Not going to save that. Uh, and then advanced properties, really nothing here to worry about. Support, that's if you need to support it. It opens up the resource center. These links are, are throughout uh, this course. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So it's going to save that. Last thing you do need to do is make it active. Once you make it active, now you're able to create the data actions, which allow you to set up to this integration uh, and at utilizing the OAuth. So I hope that helps in getting a, a better understanding of how to uh, create these as well as the steps to needing, you know, if you're going to allow data actions to be in your call flows, the steps needed to allow that to successfully process. Um, the, you know, the recap for this really is just making sure that you understand the integrations, the OAuth around it, and why these are essential parts of uh, allowing your call flows to be much more detailed uh, and drive a better customer experience. Um, thanks for attending us and see you on the next one.